working at Diabetes India has been a phenomenal experience. Probably a three-day attending of Diabetes India will update you totally how to manage diabetes. To my all fellow colleagues, I would like to say that managing diabetes is an art. It is an artistic way you have to manage a diabetic. It has to be a patient-centric approach. It has to be a safe approach. And it has to be an amalgamation of modalities which are available. The target is that we need not to control only the blood glucose, but long term we have to preserve the beta cells, we have to prevent the secondary failure, we have to protect all our patients from micro and microvascular complications. We have to believe in the statement that diabetes, if controlled very nicely and adequately, will not affect the longevity and quality of life. So we need to have an amalgamation of treatment to give the newer drugs which doesn't cause hypoglycemia, takes care of insulin deficiency, drugs which are safe after age of 60 to 70 years. For example, SGL2 inhibitors or DPP4 inhibitors, these are the class of drugs which are quite safe in elderly people. The newer modalities of drugs has to be given in combination with the conventional drugs like sulfonylurea there has to be add-on to the newer drugs faster. We need to pick up that how type 2 patients become insulinopenic after few years and sensing that they are insulin deficient at right time to add on to basal insulins, add on to basal bolus insulins and to have a perfect glycemia should be our goal. In this Diabetes India, probably each deliberation was better than another. It updates what is latest going on in this era of diabetic management. Obesity is an integral part and I must like to share with my colleagues that when you treat obesity, probably it is very important you will get success in managing the blood sugar also of the patient. In this Diabetes India Meet, I am talking on COVID steroids and management of diabetes. You will be happy to know that steroids were indicated interestingly in COVID management. If I recollect, COVID had first wave of the viral infection and second wave or the second week of the COVID was cytokine storm in which there was excessive IL-6 and inflammatory markers. So as per the recovery trial of UK, steroids were indicated for 8 to 10 days in second week of COVID. Then COVID patients suffered ARDS. And thirdly, post-COVID patient had pulmonary fibrosis where the antifibrotic drugs were coupled up with a low dose of steroids. So, and lastly, COVID itself led to the beta cell damage and exhaustion. So all these factors led to the onset, new onset of diabetes in COVID patient, exacerbation of existing diabetes, and hence it need to be treated very nicely with DPP-4 inhibitors or the right time insulin has to be added and the euglycemia has to be managed. In fact, during second wave, that is delta wave, the use of steroids was unavoidable and that led to the higher incidence of steroid-induced diabetes in COVID patients and which required insulin supplementation. So I would like to convey a message to my colleagues that managing diabetes is an art have a amalgamation of the multiple drug combinations available. You need to look at the safety of avoiding hypoglycemia. You need to select right drug for the elderly people. You need to right drug for the cardiac people. At the same time, overcome the hindrances of starting insulin in patients who can be prevented from having micro and macrovascular complications. Wish you all the best. Good luck.